welcome, Val. Hi, how are you? Val's the general manager at Wine of the Month Club, and he's the one that's fielding all these calls on sediment. Sediment, yeah, Paul, I get some questions from time to time. People call in, they love the wine, they love the value, but they see some sediment and little crystallization sediment. going on it. What is that? Sediment. Yeah. I don't know what it is, and I don't really care. It's just not even a problem for us, so that's the end of this video now. Excellent. Thanks, thanks, thanks for, for coming. Thanks for tuning in, all right? Hey, sediment's a great thing, actually. Sediment means quality, actually. It means for a lot of things. For one, it means the wine was really well extracted that when it was crushed. It means that it's probably aged. And the last two wines that we've had a, a little situation with were 2006s. Mm -hmm. So that means they're well extracted and aged. So that actually means a good thing. Yep, good. It means that, uh, that you bought a nice wine and it's not a bad thing. In fact, I was talking to my dad about this and he said in Burgundy, which is the home of Pinot Noir, that some of the winemakers like to, at the bottom of the glass, take their finger and take the sediment out and feel it and taste it because it's, it's, it's acid, it's tartric acid. So what happens is, as the, uh, as the wine ages, it throws off the acid as a chemical reaction, and it actually smooths things out. So for instance, if we were to do this, if we were to just to say we're going to crush some grapes here. So if we're going to squeeze the grapes and make some wine here, okay, now, look, it's kind of clear, the juice, but then we put the skins in there, and it becomes, <laughs> it becomes uh, red, huh. and that's what... The color comes I from. thought those were fake grapes at first, <laughs> that you actually got water out of like fake grapes, but that was a very good demonstration. I I'm like not that. sure that we can make, uh, these are um, red sealess from Chile. So this is a Chilean wine that we're making. Here. Great, great. We'll add that to the vat in the anyway, back of the warehouse. So, right. <laughs> that's right. So we're going to pour this, let's take a look at the Sterling Alpert uh, Cabernet, which is one of the wines that we, uh, that we had. Now, you might see sediment in the, in the shoulder here, which we don't in this case, but a wine that throws off sediment often will settle here. And you want that to happen. Is that from the bottles being stored at an inverted uh, level? That's like exactly that? right. Okay. If you keep the bottles upside down, at least on their side, your sediment will form here. It'll also form in the punt down here. Uh, an argument as to what punts are for is one of them is for sediment, but that's not really making any sense. If you find that you have sediment in your wine, what you want to do is leave it upright for 24 hours. And you want to leave it upright in an area that you're going to decant it. Because that's okay. the one way to get rid of sediment. All right. You can either decant it or filter it. So a lot of the, our customers don't want to wait 24 hours. They get their wine in, in the mail. They open it up. They don't want to wait 24 hours. What can they do to in, you know, get to the wine right away? Would that be decanting? Well, you decant it, but you, to decant it, you want all the sediment to settle at the bottom. That okay. takes 24 hours. What you can do is filter it. Ah, okay. Uh, in fact, we had uh, a Facebook comment today that we use a coffee filter. She says we use a coffee filter. I think mm -hmm. one of those brown, in our, those organic coffee filters would work fine. Um, so they make those aerators now that we demonstrate on TV that have filters built into them. Built into them. But the bottom line is don't worry about the sediment. Mm -hmm. It'll go to the bottom of your glass and don't drink it. Some people aren't used to the sediment, so that's why uh, they're, they're, they're calling me and they're saying, what is this stuff in here? Is it a, is it a lower quality of wine? But I guess it's, it's in the way that it's crushed, would you say? Is well, it has something to do with the extraction of the crush time, but it actually probably is suggesting it was a really good wine when it was made and then it's thrown off. There's, you know, wine has basically got, uh, it's got solids in it and it will dissipate after time. And this, the other culprit that we've had recently with sediment was the Sierra, it was this uh, River Grove Syrah. And we'll look in here, and I don't see any... Well, there's a little mm -hmm. bit of sediment starting to grow there. I mean, starting yeah. to settle there. And that's, that could be one of the issues that the customers have. But there's nothing wrong with sediment. That's mm -hmm. the bottom line. If I was to decant this, I would, I would have this set up for 24 hours. I would gently move the bottle over to um, its position. And I would normally just put a flashlight here or a candle. I'd want to be in a position to stand over the top of the wine. I would tilt these very gently together. And I would start to pour. And the light should shine through the neck of the bottle. And as soon as I start to see sediment come through, I would stop pouring. And that way you would end up with nice clear wine mm -hmm. in the decanter. And you would end up with about an inch, inch and a half of wine in here that you would just dispose of and the rest would be sediment. I see. That's why I often see sometimes people uh, at restaurants where they don't finish off all of the wine. Would that be? That's absolutely right. Yeah. It'd be because of sediment. Now this, okay. this has a lot of sediment in it. So that's that's too much sediment. That's gonna overkill sediment. Yeah, for I think me. it's too yeah, much. Right. Okay, so mm -hmm. anyway, thanks for watching. That's sediment, and uh, we'll put up some other videos for you. These are also available on our website if you want to buy one of these uh, decanters. They're also available uh, for sale too. And this is not. No, All right. not.